Hi guys, my name is Helen Velasquez and I'm back! Anyways, welcome to my little channel. My name is Helen Velasquez and I am a Mexican traveler. <laughs> I'm a Mexican that lives in Ireland and I love it. So, I was very, very, very hesitant on what to upload to my channel next. My last video was Halloween and this one I wanted to record something Christmasy at first, but it's just been such a weird Christmas that I didn't feel the spirit that much. Compared to last year's, I got to see my family, I got to travel back to Mexico, and this year is just different. So I recorded a few things. I recorded my Christmas house tour. Welcome, I'm so happy to greet you. Today is 21st of December, but I thought I might as well record a few little Christmassy show my decorations house that you'll get to see a bit of it now <laughs> we have the lovely house I love this because it shines shapes like look at the star in my hand it's beautiful <laughs> I just thought this year go full and this is my nutcracker Christmas tree look how cute and I think that went really nice I had a lot of fun over Christmas aside the fact of what is happening in the world and I think it's just non it just hasn't stopped rightly and we have to still be precautious we have to still take it seriously hopefully it comes to an end can't wait for that to happen it's just been really worrying and you know, it's been really hard. Like, I, I have a lot of thoughts about motivation these days. I um, feel like I'm really lacking it when it comes to planning the wedding because how can I plan and be cheerful? Like, whoa, this, this is a new thing we're doing, this is this, this is that, when really a lot of people is battling for their lives or having a really close relative in a bad situation. It's just not nice. But anyways, I want to cheer you up with this video and uh, let's get to the point. I'm going to make a DIY on my wedding shoes. So hopefully this inspires you again. If you're a bride, if you just like DIYs, if you're here just for the heck of it. I hope it really inspires you. I seen a few inspirations of shoes for a wedding that I absolutely fell in love with. I had this idea. I love them. And then I see this other idea. So yeah, I have a I have a pretty pricey taste. But that's no problem. You can always recreate things that you like. That's when Black Friday comes along. It turns out in Black Friday I made myself honor of these beautiful shoes. They are so simple but so lovely and classy and that's what I wanted. It's time to do some magic. Now hold on till I tell you this because I don't think you're ready. I got this lovely glittery fabric. It's supposed to be like a white color and if you can see the glitter, it's beautiful. Now things that I thought we might need, I'm not so sure we would. It's all this here. <laughs> we just got through it real quick. Clear thread. Needles, cutter or how do you say call this? I call it cutter. Exactly. Scissors. This is fabric glue. Some beads. This is actually a really cool kit. It includes a pen and like a bead. I know I need bows. How to make bows? That's the question.
actually, I have the two bows now. How cute. <laughs> but they are a bit too big. Like when I compare them with the shoe, I mean, I love the look, they're nice. But I'm gonna cut them just a wee bit so they're not too much. And, and then figure out how I'm gonna attach them actually. Like, I still don't know that. <laughs> Hey, it's Helen from our life from uh, it's Helen two hours later. I actually am taking way longer than I thought with the shoes. All I've done is add the sparkles, cut the bows. Like I'm pretty advantage, but I'm kind of getting to the place that I'm creatively blocked and like tired plus my camera is about to die. <laughs> um Jango is hungry. So I think we're gonna have to call it a day for now. But tomorrow I'm gonna continue and hopefully finish them. So see you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello guys, it's officially the next day. Um, sorry, I'm wearing my hat because it's actually really cold outside. There's a thick, thick frost we got last night. And yeah, now I feel like if I take my hat off, just gonna look you know when you put a hat then your hair goes really i don't know i just don't want to see how that would look uh anyways i'm back here again in my wee little studio situation and um, but then i brought grogu not to feel i just thought that it was too plain in the background and i felt like it so yeah <laughs> there he is little grogu um as you know i had my shoes like this is how i was starting this is how they were then really nice progress i'm actually gonna finish adding studs and then show the pattern but what i wanted to say is last night my dressmaker came to drop the dress so i officially have it it's really beautiful it sits just like it's supposed to and i can't wait to show you in the wedding day uh, second thing i was showing her how i was getting on with my shoes and the bows and she <laughs> she looked at the bows and she said you know what they're nice, but you're gonna need to, um, instead of cutting the fabric at the ends like it looked yesterday, I'm gonna have to fold it to like not show that. I was like, oh, to give more volume. And I was like, okay, I feel you. So she literally undid the bow in front of me and then she knotted it back again and this time it looks so perfect and now they really really oh really look like a dream they're super cute so i can't wait to finish this project i'm gonna still stick some of the beads keep creating my wee pattern in the back and once i'm done with that i can then show you the result
So everything's going perfect. What I usually do with a ribbon, or what you should do actually if you sew anything and you wanna keep the fabric in place, is grab your iron, but who has time to get an iron and a iron, bo iron board, however you call it. So I just use my strainers for like quick projects. <laughs> Because hey, it works just the same. And voila. So it'll stay in place. That way you don't show the seams and you have the pretty part. My idea is looping this and sewing it to the bow and then putting this into the straps. So that way you can always take it out if you feel like, you know, you want to use it for something else. So that's what I'm gonna do! Here is a very tiny little satin blo block and now that it's ready I'm just gonna secure it with a knot. Now I can just put this through the open strap. I attach this. I'm gonna attach the bow to this strap. See how it works? Genius! These are the shoes of my dreams. I really wanted something plain and classy, but in the back is all the pizzas and oh, just all the amazing like party going on. I have my bows that I really wanted. I have my sparkles in my heels. It's just it's just breathtaking and very brightly. Wow. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it inspired you to make something amazing today. I want to say thanks. For, I want to say thank you for this year. Um, it's been it's been a year. <laughs> hope next one is a lot better. Sending really good vibes to you. If you're not subscribed, please don't forget to do it. I think I'm gonna start uploading just once a month because it's been really hard. But I assure you, I'm not gonna start stop uploading because I just really enjoy it. So. Have the best day!